Hello and welcome to this video lecture on printing multiple worksheets in, in Microsoft Excel. You can set up printing and print groups of worksheets within the same workbook to make it easier to create printed documents for handouts. One of the things that it's useful to use grouping when printing for is when you want to create pages for a handout whether it's a PDF version or a paper version that will have page numbers in sequential order. So what you need to do is first look at the worksheets you're going to be working with. Are all of them exactly the same in layout so that you can determine which ones need to be set up with printing individually versus as a group. Once you've identified those that need unique setup for things such as orientation and scaling and headers and footers, you'll first set up printing on those. You don't actually print them at this point, you just set up the printing from page setup. Next, if you have multiples that are laid out exactly the same and you want the scaling, the orientation, and the headers and footers exactly the same, you would open up those as a group. So you would group them together, then go to Page Setup and set up the printing for those. Next, group all of the worksheets you want to print together. You need to have them in order in the group that you want the pages to be printed. So if you want one document or one worksheet to print first, it needs to be the first one in the group. Once you get them in order and then group them together, you're ready to go to Print Preview. In Print Preview, you can then review to see are they going to print the way I am anticipating. And then last, once you verify that, you simply print. Let's now take a look at this. Here I have a workbook with several different worksheets in it. I have my documentation called Regional Documentation, Quarter Sales by Region. This is my summary document. West Region, East Region, North Region, and South Region. So to set these up, I know when looking at the quarterly, the West, the East, the North and the South, these are all laid out pretty much in an identical fashion. It's only my documentation that's not exactly the same. So I may need to first set up this page setup individually. So I'm on regional, doc regional documentation and I'm going to open up the page setup dialog box. I can now determine do I want this portrait landscape do I think I'm going to need scaling? Given what I have here, probably not. But I can check it in Print Preview and see. doesn't look like I need any scaling. I may need to put in some headers and footers. I can either go back in here and go to Headers and Footers and put in a custom header or footer. In this case, I think I want a custom footer. In the left section, I'm going to put in a source. And for source, because I want the user of whatever I am generating as part of my print out to be able to know where did this come from. I want what file. So I'm going to use the worksheet name. So this is the file name. And I could also include the worksheet tab name here. I also want them to know when was this created. So I'm going to put printed on, followed by the date and a blank space and the time. So now when you look at print preview, you'll see that I have that down here at the bottom. I can zoom in and see that I have my source, so the name of my file, the name of the tab, and over in this corner in the right, I have printed on and the date and time. Doesn't matter if that I'm printing digitally or to paper. Up here, you can see my worksheet itself. So now I could make sure it looks good. I go back and I've got that one set up. Next, I want to set up the remaining worksheets. So I'm going to group them together because all of these have a similar layout. So I'm going to group them all together and I want it through the South region. So now you'll see I have grouped 
quarter, sales by region, west region, east region, north region, south region. Now I'm ready to go into print preview and take a look at what I've got going on. You can see I'm getting 10 pages because I'm losing one column on each. So I need to do some changes. I'm going to go ahead and launch page setup here from this print preview screen and I'm going to change this to landscape orientation. I think if I do this, I probably don't need to scale, but I could say fit this to 1 by say 5. But in this situation, I think I'm going to stick with 100%. Next, I'm going to go ahead and make these center on the page horizontally. So from left to right, I can tweak my margins if I need to here. Perhaps make my left and right margins a half an inch. And then on header and footer, I'm going to put in this custom footer. And again, I'm going to put source and I'm going to use the name of the file, blank space and the tab or worksheet name and printed on and the date space time. The other thing that I would like to do here is go to the Sheet tab and I'm going to turn grid lines on and I'm going to look at how my work looks with grid lines on and with grid lines off. I'm going to click OK. You can see here that I have these grid lines turned on. So you're seeing little, they look kind of like dashed lines here on the screen as well as the borders that I put on the total row. I may or may not want those, and if you look scrolling through here, you can see all of our pages are the same. Maybe I decide, well, I don't know that I want those grid lines on, so I'm going to go back and I'm going to turn them off. And now I see a little bit of a cleaner look. When you're doing something small, you often don't need grid lines. When you're working with very large sheets of data with a lot of numbers on, it can be very helpful to put the grid lines on to make it easier to actually follow numbers across the page. Now all I have left to do is to press the print button and I have a nicely printed document this way. Except that I want to add one more thing here. I want to add in the middle of the footer, I want to add the page number. So I'm going to add page and this is my number, page number, and I'm going to say of and I'm putting blanks after and before these these different functions and here I'm putting in the number of pages so this is going to tell me which page of which click OK click OK and now you can see down here this one says page one of five and it increments as you go forward however I want to include in this my documentation worksheet. So I'm going to use from the south region through regional documentation. Now when I bring it up you'll see I'm getting the portrait version of my documentation, quarterly sales by region, west, east, north, and south. Now I actually have six of six pages. All but the first page have a page number on them and I'm ready to print at this point.